Hey everybody, it's Brian here from Brian Abella's Photoshop Tutorial and Print On Demand Tutorials. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, I've been using Print On Demand for a number of months now and uh, specifically Redbubble is one of my favorite platforms to use. Um, throughout my journey, one of the things that I've always worked at doing is trying to find ways that I can actually speed up the uploading process. Um, I suppose many of you will agree that uh, part of the creating process is fun making the designs, but when it comes to uploading it, it can be a bit tedious and time consuming. So as always, I'm always on the lookout for ways that I can speed up the uploading process. And today I'm going to be talking about a fast way to upload designs to Redbubble. Once you actually pick up the way that I'm going to show you, you can really increase your uploading process by 10, 15, even 20x. Just to give you an example, yesterday I created 60 designs and I had them uploaded to but Redbubble within a span of about 15 minutes. So let's look into this process, let me show it to you, and perhaps it be something that you can incorporate in your uploading process and hopefully speed up the process for your designs too as well so that you can get them in front of the eyes of, of other cus potential customers um, sooner than later. So the first thing that I did, um, I was trying to think of a quick niche that I could delve into. Uh, to be honest with you, it's just about dinner time soon, I'm a bit on the hungry side, so I decided, hmm, is there a keyword for eat more? So I went on to Redbubble and here we have 5,160 results for the keyword eat more. And what I did was I went on to Photoshop and I created a very basic text uh, design, okay? It's not intricate. For this uh, example, I wanted to keep it simple. What's important is the shortcut keys that I use, the process I, that I use, and some of the tips that I'm going to be showing you. Then obviously, once you become accustomed to them, you can actually incorporate them to any of the designs that you have, so long as you keep to the parameters that I'm going to be discussing. Okay, so first and foremost, I created a template here, uh, merged by Amazon Designs, uh, parameters, excuse me, so 4500 by 5400. So it doesn't really matter what your design parameters are set to, so long as that for the designs you're going to upload, you keep to the same design parameters. Okay, so I have, for, again, for this one, it's 4500 by 5400. Now, I kept... Um, my text layers into two separate layers. I have one for eat more and then the other one which is the the keyword which I am going to switch to change. So in this particular case uh, it's eat more fish and then I can change eat more fish, I can change the word fish to ice cream, to guacamole, to tacos, whatever it is that you want to change it to that's the layer that you want to make the changes on and once you have them uh, all set out, you want to save it as a PNG with a transparent background. So you would just basically turn off your background and then click on File, Save As, all right? And then you would just choose PNG, okay, which is down here, all right? And then you would give it your title name. So in this case, Eat More Fish, all right? Now, again, for those of you who have been following my YouTube channel as of late, you know that I'm really big on keyboard shortcuts and I always believe that using keyboard shortcuts can really help cut down on the time spent in the process of creating and saving and uploading etc. So before we proceed I'm going to show you a very quick keyboard shortcut over here to help you in the saving process. Now if you hit the tab key on your keyboard it's going to move from one field to the next. So as you can see, now I'm on the save as type field. I've got sort of like these little dotted lines around it. If I hit the letter P on the keyboard, it's going to scroll through all of the different save types that begin with the letter P. All right. Now, to get to PNG, you need to click on it eight times. So let's do it again so that I can show you what I mean. So we're going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to hit the Tab key to go to the Save As type field, and then I'm going to hit the letter P eight times, and it's gonna take me to the PNG type. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you go, PNG. And then you can just hit the tab key again until you get to save, and you can hit enter, and it will save. But obviously we need to uh, key in a, f a file name, so eat more fish. 
So tab to get to the save as type, tab takes you to the save to cloud documents, and then the next tab gets you to save. And you can see that the, uh, the save icon is toggled with a blue uh, border. So if I just hit enter on the keyboard, it's going to save it for me. And then I just click OK to save uh, as the file type. And now it's saved. OK, so now we're going to move on to Redbubble so that you can see the process that I put into place, that I've developed over the past few weeks to help me uh, speed up the uploading process. So let's go to Redbubble here. And what I did was I went ahead and I already uploaded a design. It's called Eat More Apples. All right. And let me just close these tabs that I don't need. It's very important that when you're doing this particular process, all other tabs are closed. All you want to have is just your red bubble tab open, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so what you want to do then is before you do anything else, you want to key in your title. So in this case, it's going to be eat more. You put in your tags, all right, and you'll notice here that the keyword for apples I left it at the end. All right, and then I put in my description. Here's a great text design for everyone who loves to eat apples. Again, the food keyword is left at the end, and you're going to see why that's important in a moment. All right, and then basically after you've keyed in that information, you want to go through and you want to set the design on all of the products to make sure that they look good. Those again who have been following me know that if there's a particular uh, clothing or, or item that I feel that the design doesn't look good on, I disable it, all right? So after you've gone through all of the, the products and you've set them accordingly, enabling what you want to keep and uh, obviously disabling those that you don't want, all right? You're going to make sure that in the media you select which of the two categories you want the design to feature in, in this case, design and illustration and digital art. You set what default product you want it in your shop. Um, for this example, I'm going to leave a set to optimize. Does this particular design contain mature content? In this case, no. All right, who can view this work? Anybody. And then you just click on that you have the right to sell the products containing this artwork. All right, and then I just click save work. All right, so just wait a few moments. Very good. And now you come into a page on Redbubble where you can see all of the products. Now, in most cases, when people are uploading another design that they want to use the same parameters and the same keywords and whatnot, they usually go over here to add another design. For this example, I'm going to invite you, rather to then click on add another design, I want you to go back to your manage portfolio. So we're going to click on manage portfolio and you're going to see your design over here. Now this is not my Redbubble account, I created this one just for this tutorial purpose. Now, before we move any further, I want you to take note of the following keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to show you. And here they come. So the first shortcut key that I want you to be aware of, and please do take note, is the CTRL plus A key. Now, CTRL plus A, or command on a Mac keyboard, is going to be your keyboard shortcut to select all. Okay, so it could be an entire amount of text to select it all. Rather than taking the mouse and highlighting it and then copying it, you're just gonna hit Control A on the keyboard, once you've obviously moved your mouse and toggled it onto the field for the text that you want to copy, all right? Then the next keyboard shortcut is Control C. And as probably you can guess, Control C means to copy the text that you've highlighted. After Control C, we have Control V, which effectively is the paste keyboard shortcut. And if you look at the keyboard, Control C and Control V, the C and the V are effectively right next to each other. So that makes it super simple to go through the process of using the shortcut key. Now, the next keyboard shortcut that I want you to become accustomed to and to take note is Control W. All right, Control W basically closes any tabs or closes a tab that you might have open when you're surfing the net. Okay, so if you're using Google Chrome and you want, to, uh, you want to have multiple tabs open, well, you can close a tab by hitting Control W when that tab is activated. Let me show you. 
So here I am on uh, the red bubble here, and I've opened another tab by hitting the plus icon here at the top. Okay, now if I didn't want to have that tab open, I could either go up here to the tab and click on the X to close it, or on the keyboard, I can hit Control W and it closes. All right. Another bonus shortcut is that if you hit Control T, it opens a new tab for you. So Control T, and obviously you have that tab open. So Control T to open a tab, Control W to close the tab. All right. Then after that, you have Alt Tab. Now Alt Tab allows you to toggle from one open window to the next. So if you had a bunch of windows open and you want to go to them, so traditionally you could move your mouse to the bottom and you would get all of the different icons that you have of windows that are open and you could click on them and it would pop up. In this particular case, if you hit the Alt and the Tab, then it's going to allow you to scroll from one floating window to the next. All right? And that will become very evident when I show you this particular example. Now, the last keyboard shortcut that I want you to become familiar with is CTRL plus tab or I believe on a Mac it's command plus tab. The CTRL plus tab icon allows you to toggle from one open tab to the next when you are for example on Google Chrome. Let's take a look. So going back to my um, red bubble page here if I hit control T to open a tab and I want to go back to the red bubble tab. Well, I can either use the mouse, which you know, for all intents and purposes, can take time, especially if you have a big monitor until you move the mouse across the screen or whatnot. But if you type tap on the control and the tab key on your keyboard, you go back to your red bubble. Now, what I'm doing, since you can't see it, is I'm holding the control key down. And then whilst holding the control key down, each time I click on the tab key, it's going to toggle me from one tab to another. So you can hear each time I'm hitting the tab key, it goes from one tab to the next. Okay, now that's with two tabs. If I had to open yet a third tab, now I have three tabs, again, hold down the control key and then just click the tab key each time and it moves you from one to the next. Okay, now if you want to go in reverse, well, whilst holding the control key, hold down the shift key as well. After you hold down the control and shift key and then simply tap, type on the, uh, the tab key, you're gonna go backwards, okay? Now what I'm doing is with my thumb, I'm holding the control key with my four finger, first finger, sorry, my index finger, I'm holding the shift key and then with my middle finger, I'm not using it to be rude, I'm just typing the, the, the tab key, all right? So what I want to invite you to do is take a few moments and practice that. Get, let your fingers get used to the idea of pressing on these particular keys. Once you get this exercise down packed, you're going to fly through the uploading process. All right. So let's just do a quick summary. So if we hit Control plus A on the keyboard, that's going to select all of our text. If we hit Control plus C on the keyboard, that's going to copy. If we hit Control plus V on the keyboard, that's going to paste. If we hit Control plus W on the keyboard, that's going to close a tab, where Control plus T is going to open a tab. Then we have Alt plus Tab, which is going to allow us to float, or rather to toggle from one open window to the next. And then Control plus Tab allows us to toggle from one open tab to the next when we have multiple tabs open. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video and I want you to get used to the idea of using these keyboard shortcuts. And when you've done it, come back to the video. Don't worry, I'm waiting. And I'll show you how to put all of these keyboard shortcuts uh, into, uh, into good use. Okay, welcome back. So let's go back to our screen here that we've just finished uploading the Eat More Apples design. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to hover over here where you have the cogwheel and I want you to left click on it once. And then it's gonna open up your window and you've got your choices copy settings. Now, what I've done is I've already prepared 10 other designs similar to Eat More Apples, but obviously Apples has been changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open 10 copy settings tabs for Eat More Apples. And basically what I do is while I'm hovering over copy settings, I right click on it 
and then I left click on open link in new tab and you'll see that up on the top is a copy of the work loading alright so that's one I need to do it nine more times so right click left click right click left click right click left click on open link in new tab now I have one two three four open I need to do five more so one two three four five okay now if we look at the top you have the works page which is what we're on and then you have one two three four five six seven eight nine we need one more so copy ten alright so we have ten tabs and if I had to click on them it's going to give me my first design parameters or rather the, the, the keywords and all of the settings of my first design alright just give them a few moments to load up and you'll know that they've loaded up because you get the red bubble icon stabilized at the top alright then go to your first opened copied tag now this is where the keyboard shortcuts come into play alright so having your folder with your prepared with your prepared designs up on the screen here right you're gonna leave that floating on top of the first tab that you have open okay and you can see we have eat more apples here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on eat more bagels alright and then whilst left clicking I'm going to drag it to where it says replace all images okay so I'm gonna left click I'm going to hold it and I'm going to drag it to replace all images. All right. And when I do that, you're going to see the upload process happening. But before I do it, this is this is the part where it's going to be rather quick. You don't need to wait for Redbubble to upload that Eat More Bagels design. As it's uploading, you can move on to your next tab and then and then you can actually drag in eat more barbecue ribs and then you can move to the next tab eat more cake then eat more fish so on and so forth you don't need to wait for the design to fully upload then when you get to the end you can go back to the first tab by that time your new design will have been uploaded and you can go into the next process this is the part where it actually becomes very quick once you get the hang of it all right so let me show you what I'm gonna do I'm not doing anything to speed up this process this is me doing it for you to show you how fast you can do it oh and one thing too as well before I proceed you really need to make sure that when you are grabbing your design hovering over replace all cells you gotta make sure that you get within this piece here because if you don't what's gonna happen if you if you let go of the mouse button anywhere outside then it's gonna open up a new tab with the eat more bagels design that's gonna open up in one of your photo uh, viewing uh, applications alright if that happens no problem just hit control W on your keyboard it closes it and then you can just redrag the uh, the design accordingly and, and move on alright so are you with me pay attention here here we go so I'm gonna grab eat more bagels left click drag okay hit uh, the control tab then alt tab to go back to my uh, what's it called my my folder eat more ribs grab let go oh see I did that so control W I go back alt tab I'm gonna grab the barbecue ribs and put them over there. Boy, I'm getting hungry. Control tab to go to the next one. Alt tab to bring up your folder. Grab eat more cake and I'm gonna drag it on to replace all images. Control tab to go to the next one. Alt tab to bring my folder up. Eat more fish. Grab it, drop it. Control tab to go to the next one. Alt tab to bring up the window. Eat more fries, bring it down, drag it on top. Alt control tab to go to the next one. Alt tab to bring the folder. Eat more grapes, drag and drop. Control tab to go to the next one, Alt tab to go back, eat more ice cream, drag and drop. Control tab, Alt tab to bring it back, eat more peaches, drop it over there. Control tab, Alt tab to bring the folder, eat more pears, bring them down. Control tab, Alt tab, eat more pizza, drop it over there. And there we have our designs uploaded. There was one more, eat more tacos, I can easily do that, go to works, manage, right click on copy settings, open tab open link a new tab so click on the left one it opens up over here alt tab to go back to the window eat more tacos I'm left clicking on it clicking and dragging and dropping it into replace all in oh, I missed it control W alt tab go back and drag and drop 
Okay, it takes a bit of practice, but again, once you get the hang of it, I mean, look how fast I managed to upload one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven designs. All right, and they're at the same settings that I use for Eat More Apples. Okay, so now that we have our designs up, we need to fix the title. And I want the title to be Eat More. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to change all of them to Eat More. So I'm going to highlight, copy of, delete it. Control A on the keyboard to select it. Control C on the keyboard to copy it. And then I'm going to go from one tab to the next and I'm going to paste Eat More into the title field. Now, remember the keyboard shortcut from one tab to the next. Control and tap. So Control and tap. I'm going to click on here. Control A. It highlights. Control V. Control tab to the next one. Click on it. Control A. Control V. Control tab to go to the next one, click here, Control A, Control V. Go to the next tab, Control tab, Control A, Control V. Go to the next one, click in the field, Control A, Control V. Control tab, click on the field, Control A, Control V. Click on Control tab to the next one, click in the field, Control A, Control V. Then again, Control tab, click, Control A, Control V. Click, click here, Control A, Control V, Control Tab to move to the next one. Click in the field, Control A, and Control V. And there you go, I went through 11 different tabs. I think it took me less than a minute to change the title required. All right, now you could leave it as Eat More so that it feel, fills in with the, fits in with the niche. And then you can actually change the, uh, the keyword, for the food keyword in the tags field, all right? Now, to move into the, uh, into the next field, you just click on the tab key, all right? Now, you want to get rid of apples, so hit the end key on the keyboard, hit the delete a couple of times, and then type pizza, all right? Now, we want to go to the next tab, so we're going to go control tab, it's going to take us to our works page, then we go to the next one, control tab, and we're at tacos. So I'm going to hit the tab key on the keyboard, end key on the uh, keyboard, delete apples, type in tacos, all right? Then control tab, hit on the tab key, hit on the end key, get rid of the word apples and type in bagels. Control tab, tab on the keyboard, end on the keyboard, get rid of apples and type barbecue ribs. All right, control tab, hit the tab key again, hit the end key, get rid of apples, type in cake. Hit the control tab on the keyboard to go to the next one, hit the tab key to go to the next field, Hit the end key, get rid of apples, and type in fish. I'm going to do that again. Control tab to go to eat more fries. Hit the tab key, hit the end key, and then type in fries. Okay? Control tab, hit the tab key, hit the end key, get rid of apples, and this time type grapes. Control tab to go to the next one. Tab to go to the next field. Hit the end key and type in ice cream after you get rid of the word apples. Control tab, tab key. End key, get rid of apples, type in peaches. Control tab, to go to the next one, hit the tab key, hit the end key, and then get rid of apples and type in pears. Then do the same for the last one, control tab, hit the tab key, while well, we're there, we're on pizza, and we typed it in. Now, it's very important, this is why it's important that you leave your food keyword, or whatever keyword you're going to be changing, right to the end, because if you left it in the middle, or if you left it at the beginning, then you're gonna be fiddling around, you have to use the mouse to get to that particular word to delete. But in leaving it at the end, you just click on the tab key, hit the end key, the end key on the keyboard, and it goes right to the end of the field, and then you just delete. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar, the end key on, uh, on, a, on a PC computer keyboard is gonna be between the delete and the page down key, just above your cursor keys, okay? Now we want to move on to the description. So we're going to go back to the first one. We hit tab to go into the description and we want to change the word apples at the end. So I think by now you get the idea. You hit the end key on the keyboard, delete and type in tacos full stop. And then you move to the next one. Remove the, remove the apples, type in bagels full stop. So control tab to go to the next one, tab to go to the next field and to go to the end and remove apples and type barbecue ribs, okay? And you will continue doing that for all of the tabs that, you, uh, that you've opened, all right? And then obviously when you're scrolling down, you can see that obviously the, the design parameters are all of the same. And then it's simply just a question of clicking on 
the, uh, the check mark over here that you have the rights to sell the products and clicking in the save work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the other ones so that you can see how fast it can be done. All right, and, uh, and then we'll save them. So tab and change apples to cake. Obviously, it helps if you know how to type a bit faster as well. But if you don't, it's still a faster way of going about doing it rather than waiting for the screen to open up each time. If you had to choose the add new work or copy new work function. And the last one, oops. So, get rid of apples and type in pizza. All right, and then I would go back to the first one. I'd scroll down. and then just choose save, all right? Now, in future videos, I'll show you what you can do when you have multiple tabs, but maybe you want to change the design of one of the items. And again, that's very simple to do, but I'll show you that in an upcoming video too as well. So save work, then alt tab, go all the way down by hitting the page down key on the keyboard, which is the one next to the end key. Click there, save work, alt tab, go down, save work, Alt tab, uh, sorry, excuse me, control tab, page down, click on it, and then save work. Control tab, page down, click on the button, save work. Control tab, page down on the keyboard, and then you're going to click on that and save. You're going to toggle it, page down, click on it, save work. Alt, control tab, page down, click on it, save work. Control tab, page down. Click on it, save work, control tab, page down. Sorry, I'm sounding repetitive, but that's how, you know, you get to remember which keys that you want to use. Obviously, as you become used to them, it becomes second nature. Okay, so control tab, page down, and then you click on it, and then you choose save work. And there you have it. Within a span of a few minutes, I managed to upload 11 designs, keyworded them, save them accordingly, and now I'll find them in my in my folder, in my portfolio. So let's give it a few moments just to uh, load up here. I can go back to the first one and choose Manage Portfolio. And there they are, they appear right over there. Well, I hope you found that um, an interesting way of, uh, of uploading your designs. Remember, it's very important that your design parameters are the same. Um, and once you get the hang of it, like I said, you'll be able to fly through uploading your designs in no time and you'll be able to reach the 60, uh, the 60 uh, upload limit that Redbubble uh, offers in no time flat. All right. So if you like this video, um, please do give it a like. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please do consider subscribing. I've got a lot more information to share with you, a lot more tips and tricks, both for print on demand and for Photoshop. Um, my job is to help you be able to design and upload a lot faster in order to get your designs out in front of the eyeballs of more people. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. And until the next video, I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.